and welcome, buongiorno e benvenuti to the italiancookingclass.com What you're going to be cooking today is some beautiful biscotti They're a chocolate almond and orange biscotto So simple But the great thing about this dish is that you really have to visualise it before it actually gets made And I do this with every recipe because what happens is I get a picture in my mind of what it's going to look like and that way before the process really happens things atmospherically quantum physically are starting to take effect and shape in the way you want the end result to be I'll show you the ingredients here actually before we do that so you just close your eyes for a moment just visualize a wonderful long log shaped type of dough going in the oven now as it's cooking, because it only cooks for about 20 minutes, it's going to actually start to drop a little bit and spread. So it's going to become like a slight dome. As it's in the oven for about 10 minutes, it's going to start the colour and the top of it is going to crack ever so slightly and start to really get a, a, lot, a slight browning effect over it. By the time it's done, it's going to be quite domed, quite wider, nearly touching each other and it's going to be nice and brown, though it's still going to be a little bit soft. Then we're going to pull it out and we'll let that dry and sit. So that's step one. We'll show you the ingredients now. We've got some almonds of course, they're quite a big majority of the recipe. The chocolate, self-raising flour, plain flour, sultanas, caster sugar, egg, lemon juice, orange zest, and some vanilla. What we have to do is basically just finely chop the sultanas as finely as you can just so that you get a bit of mix of them through the biscuit itself. That's about it. The almonds have to be also broken up, chopped or whatever you like. I'm just going to do them in the blender and just coarsely chop them. We'll just put them in here. I'd like it to just pulse it, not to keep it going constantly otherwise it'll create a powder at the bottom. That's about it. Any coarser pieces, we'll do them on the chopping board so we don't build up too much of a powder at the bottom. Even though you're still pulsing them, sometimes some of it does get stuck. So if you shake the bowl after you've emptied them from the blender, all the small stuff always falls to the bottom and you find that the coarser stuff comes at the top, of course. So you just grab that. Nice sharp knife. Want it to be finer, you just keep going as much as you like and you can make it as fine or as coarse as you like. That is about it for me. After we have crushed the almonds, we add all the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl and turn it on and let it run for about one or two minutes, giving enough time for the ingredients to mix evenly throughout so that when we add the wet ingredients to make these beautiful evenly shaped biscuit loaves, just like we visualise them, the dough that will be created from this mix will be even throughout and therefore will cook these loaves perfectly all the way along. Now we'll add the wet ingredients. We keep mixing it till it all comes together now. You'll see that it will just start to amalgamate. If you don't have a mixer, you can do this by hand. A little bit more work and effort, though it does still work. You just got to keep kneading it until everything mixes together and it becomes one complete dough, just like you would do as if you were making the pasta. You can see it's starting to come together a bit more now. You notice here how it's coming together, the actual machine is starting to labour a little bit. It's just about right now, it's all coming into one piece. I'm going to lightly flour the surface here, and you're going to turn it out. You're going to make it into one log and cut it into two. Just form it together like this. It's beautiful. The aromas that are coming up are fantastic. We've got sultanas and chocolate and orange. Orange and chocolate are just the bomb. And you can appreciate what these are like. Make it into a roll. It's nice and dry so it holds together nicely. Push it together a bit as well because it actually helps to bind. You want two logs at about 30 centimetres each, that's about 60. We'll cut it straight through there. 
give them another little roll on their own. Put them on the baking tray and we'll put them in a preheated oven, ready to go. Notice from here in the oven, that wonderful shape that I was asking you to imagine. Golden brown, some beautiful cracks at the top there. They are just turning out beautiful. We're going to let them cool for a couple of hours at least, even overnight if you like, so they firm up a bit and that way when you cut them you're able to cut a nice straight line and a nice even slice. And then we'll rebake the slice. Welcome back. These beautiful biscotti loaves have actually cooled down now. And what I'm going to do is in slices and put them on the tray and bake them at a low temperature for another short time. We'll lay them flat. And I'm going to cut that 45 degree angle. Let's get a little bit of a different shape on the ends of it, that's all. Put these straight in the oven, preheated, ready to roll and cook them off. As you can see the biscuits are here baking away. Fantastic, really looking forward to tasting these. Top has gone off, we're going to get those out of the oven and we'll cool them off. We'll let these cool down and we'll try them in a few moments. Now we'll have a taste test of this beautiful biscotti alla cioccolata arancio e mandola. Almond chocolate and orange biscuits. Mmm. They are beautiful. Not so sweet. Beautiful dark chocolate coming through. Flavour of the orange and the sultanas. It's fantastic. This was what I visualised and this is what's turned out. These are beautiful biscuits. Thank you for watching. Do the recipe, visualise what it is that you want to do and move towards it. Thank you for watching. This is Giuseppe with the ItalianCookingClass.com. Arrivederci and buon appetito.